Ashal, please! You must let me have that treasure map! What's all this about? My mother and father were slaughtered by monsters. My baby sister still too young to fend for herself. Can you spare us no kindness? So, you hope to find your fortune? And what? You expect me to surrender my wares for pity's sake? What have you to offer in payment? As I thought. Come back when you've more than rags to your name. This is no mere treasure map. It is a guide to the vaults of Arzadal III. One of the great star traps of Radzat Khan, and a direct descendant of Alzadal Khan. A map to Alzadal's legacy. So he says. A fake I'd wager. This is no fake. The parchment is marked with an arcane glyph of passage. You may find the ruins hidden in the bounty, but you won't be setting foot inside without this in your possession. A priceless artifact it is. Discovered amongst the rubble in the aftermath of the final days, and lovingly restored by yours truly. This map is the key to fabulous riches, and I'll be the king of fools to simply give it away. Be glad I am no such king boy. Your scrawny eye did never return with that treasure alive. <laughs> Why must you tempt me with wealth I am powerless to claim? How oh, I shall envy the one who purchases that precious map. Whatever they pay will be but pittance against the golden hoards they stand to uncover. What of you, sir? Fighting man of your stature would surely relish the challenge of recovering Alzadal's lost fortune. A fortune, you say? If I had but the strength to seize that treasure, my starving sister would never want for food. I'll take it. Will this cover the price? Well met, my friend. Someone is dressed for adventure. But why Favner of all places? Knowing you, I suspect there's more to your plans than sightseeing and shopping. Ruins beneath the bounty. Curious. And here I've acquired a map to just such a site.
With that sale, I do believe I've earned the rest of the day off. Thank you for your patronage, sir, but if you'll excuse me. You needn't mind us. And now I'll fleece one of the heroes of the final days. Pray the sisters were looking elsewhere. This map of me may not be genuine. Either way, we'll need a ship to find out for sure. Unless you misunderstand, I seek the treasure not for myself. If such a fortune truly exists, then it could help ease the struggles of those who lost their loved ones in the final days. I hope to do for Thavnir what you and Alphano did for the Alamegans when you recovered the Mad King's trove. Come now. You know Alphano needs little encouragement when it comes to recounting the tales of your shared exploits. Speaking of precocious lads, that boy in the bazaar was clearly an accomplice of the merchant. Suppose his role was to draw the attention of the crowd and add weight to the merchant's bold claims. Transparent act for the most part, it was not all mummery. The need to provide for his sister rang true enough. Thus, if some portion of the profits end up in that waif's pockets, then I will consider it money well spent, whether the map leads us to the vault or not. You are coming along, yes? I appreciate the concern, but the one thing I've learned from my time with the science is how to better manage my coin purse. Now, let's see about securing a vessel.
Ah, Ergica, my good man. Would you be so kind as to... Ah, oh, isn't this a pleasant surprise? I wish you had sent word ahead. I thought I was having visions for a moment there. Raha and I have been compiling old records of the students' activities. We located several accounts in the archives of Numenon and added them to the collection we recovered from the Isle of Val. And judging by the progress we've made thus far, sorting this pile will keep us occupied for days to come. But what brings you to the Annex, my friend? Surely you haven't come all this way just to watch us shuffle dusty papers around? The Treasure Vault of Alzadar III. And you're looking for companions to join you on this expedition. I would dearly love to accompany you, of course, but I'm afraid I'm committed to another task. On the subject of which, I had hoped to ask for your assistance. Then again, it's not so urgent that it can't wait until you've returned. You should go, Raha. I'll stay here and mind the shop, as it were. Are you sure? I'd hate to leave you short-handed. I'm sure. Just try to be back before too many moons have passed. Well, I guess we're off on another adventure already. Have you asked anyone else to come along? Then might I suggest we invite your Stola? Ever since the Scions disbanded, she spent most of her time cloistered within the Great Goobal Library hoping to piece together a method to traverse the rift. It would seem, however, that whatever wisdom she sought there was not to be found. She arrived in Charlien the other day. We spoke briefly before she began her search of Numenor. 
Considering what you've told us of Al Zadal's extraordinary feats, I do believe your Stola would be more than interested to hear what you have to say. Splend it! Then let us head to the archives at once. Wait before you go. I have another potential member to volunteer, if you've room to spare. Urianger. He sent the students a request for materials, you see. Treatises on the architecture of treasure vaults and the like. From what I can gather, the Loperitz are looking to make improvements to their own creation and wish to learn more about how we build things down here. So, why not take Urianger with you? Let him study Alzadal's legacy firsthand. None can deny the benefit of seeing something with your own eyes. If our expedition leader has no objections, I say we extend Urianger an invitation once we've spoken with your Stola. Safe travels, you two. But don't forget, I'd still like your help with that other matter I mentioned. Right. Then it's off to the library. I've never known your Stola to doze off in the middle of research before. How long have you two been here? Did you now?
I must have been studying for two, three days straight before exhaustion finally claimed me. As you know, I've been researching ways to travel from the source to one of its reflections. Well, looking for hints, at least. I don't expect to find a simple set of instructions tucked away in some dark corner of the library. So I've been skimming through the stacks, hoping to uncover even a partial mention of any similar feats in the past. A means to travel between worlds exists, and you can be sure I will find a way to employ it. So I promised Runa, but twould seem I've set myself a nigh impossible task. You needn't be so hard on yourself. The leap I made with the Crystal Tower was not achieved in an afternoon. It was the culmination of a collective effort spanning generations. Oh, you think me discouraged. I assure you, tis quite the opposite. A daunting challenge and the time to sink my teeth into it. I feel like a fresh-faced student again. A scholar in her element. Indeed. Was there something else you wished to ask of me? Alzadal is no minor figure in Harnish history, and much is known about his family. But this is the first I've heard of a descendant surviving a trip to another world. If those tales are true, then he may have left behind some clue as to how it was accomplished. An invitation to delve into one of the world's lingering mysteries. As if I could refuse. And whence do we embark upon this expedition? Akiali, by ship. But before that, we thought to extend an invitation to Urianje as well. He was in Thalmazain, last we heard. Then by all means, let us recruit him and be on our way.
our illustrious champion. Cloaked in the mantle of the common explorer, fame set aside in thy pursuit of simple adventure. I am told a new expedition is in the offing. And thee, as ever, thou art the picture of strength. You've been keeping yourself busy, I trust? True to our plan, Thancred and I embarked upon a pilgrimage of sorts, with an eye for gauging the state of those lands through which we passed. Our travels were interrupted, however, by a request for aid from our beferred lunar allies. As you may recall, the Loperets had been seeking new purpose for the Moon, another role through which it might serve to benefit mankind. The Forum hath been working to advise them in this endeavor, but I return to offer mine own counsel. And this has what to do with treasure vaults, exactly? Ah, you have learned of my predicament from Mistress Crime. I know not whence they acquired such knowledge, but the Loperets now stand convinced that adventurers delight in treasure hunts. Thus, with their newly built wonderland of riches and mystery, do they hope to entice all manner of daring delvers to the moon. So earnest and innocent was their desire to bring joy to the world that I found myself powerless to refuse them my cooperation. But what of you, my friends? Why are you come to Labyrinthos? Fascinating. This is indeed a most fortuitous opportunity. I should be honored to accept thine invitation. it been, I wonder, when last our actions were not impelled by fate or desperation. Aye, though I cherish the Scion's accomplishments, tis pleasant to not have the weight of the world upon our shoulders for a change. Counting Istinian, we number five now, yes? Without knowing what traps or perils await unwary feet, we may be wise to refrain from recruiting others. I agree. Between us, we should have the skills to handle whatever situation may arise. Shall we be on our way? What, no time to spare a word for the grizzled old bard? All is well, I trust. A wasted trip, I'm afraid. I'd hoped to catch up with a former mentor while you parleyed with the rabbits, but it seems our paths were not to cross. Having an astrologian beside you on the road is surprisingly convenient. And it doesn't hurt that he's making strides with his light-hearted banter. In any case, as we made our way around Ilzabad, we saw that much of the continent was in various stages of chaos. A certain amount of disorder is to be expected. The final days are over, and the people no longer have a common threat binding them together. That's the thing with these fledgling troubles, eh? You need to keep an eye out, lest they mature into full-grown headaches. So, 
For what reason have so many esteemed personages seem fit to gather? Beneath the waters of the bounty, you say? I see you've already stolen away my traveling partner with the promise of unexplored ruins and scholarly glory. Nay, it is not for mine own indulgence, but rather the fulfillment of my commitment to the Loperates. Ah, of course. And if you have a Stinian rounding out your group, you'll likely have all the members you need. Feeling left out? I could put in a good word for you, if you like. We may have been released from our obligations, but I'll never be free of that merciless wit of yours, will I? In all seriousness, it is best I sit this one out. Too many former scions consorting with one another might be seen as a cause for concern in certain quarters. I'll return to my usual reconnaissance and scout out the situation in the Far East. Feel free to share if you come across any interesting revelations. Till we meet again. Shall we also hasten our departure? Sir Estinian will wonder what hath become of us.
What have we here? Tis not unlike a Hanish alchemical furnace in design. Well, there is one way we might find out. Stop! You mustn't touch it. Fritra! Oh, my apologies. Should I continue calling you Varshan? You may address me as you wish. My nature is no longer a secret. Still, this is not a setting I imagined for our reunion. Surely you've not entered these ruins as common looters. Would that we could deny your accusations, but I fear you're not far from the truth. Great Vritra, might we beseech thee to explain the nature of this strange contrivance? It was crafted by our alchemists at my behest, for the purpose of sealing something away. Perhaps I should simply show you. I have lifted the seal, if only for the moment, by an authority only I possess. A plainer fisher? No, my friend. Small though it may be, this is a functioning gate into the void. I must admit, I am deathly curious to know how a void gate came to be hidden in the depths of these ruins. To tell that tale, we must first peer far to the south, and even further into memory. Age five millennia past, when the Algan Empire sent an invading force to the shores of Merasidia. The southern people rallied around the commanding figures of Bahamut and Tiamat, and fought fiercely to repel the would-be conquerors. 
With Bahamas' defeat, however, the tide turned against them. Desperate to seize any advantage, the Mercidians resorted to summoning primal entities. In response, Emperor Zande forged a covenant with the Cloud of Darkness, sovereign among the all-devouring denizens of the Void. Thus bolstered by icons on one side and Void Scent on the other, the two armies clashed in a battle of unspeakable carnage. So much death, so much loss. I consider myself well versed in that period of history, yet you speak as one who witnessed it happen. Indeed, I did. I heard Tiamat's roar of defiance and sped toward that war-torn land. Along with my sibling, Ashdaya. We dragons are not male or female, as men are wont to classify, but Elder Sister is the closest a mortal tongue can come to describing what she meant to me. I was the last of our brood to hatch, and Ashdaya cared for me where my sire could not. Thus I was with her when Tiamat roared, I was with her when she journeyed south, and I was with her when she fought against the void sent hordes. Yet no matter how many of their vile fiends we cast down, more rose from the abyss to take their place. Faced with an unwinnable war of attrition, Ashdaya risked her all on a final gamble. She plunged through the void gate itself to strike at the root of their strength. I tried to follow in her wake, determined to lend what aid I could. But even as I came upon Alag's glittering tower, I saw the rift close behind her. And Ashdaya has been lost to us ever since. I find I must retract my earlier claim of historical knowledge. Nowhere in the Crystal Tower's archives did I see mention of such noble sacrifice. That does not surprise me. To Alagan eyes, it must have seemed as if a lone dragon, driven to madness, simply dove through the gate and did not return. 